Hello and welcome. Now, this is a, a, a video uh, mainly for all of us UK chaps here. Uh, however, I do understand I have a few American uh, viewers and subscribers, so if you like knives, you like slip its, uh, folding knives, non locking knives um, in general, then hey, stick around. Um, this might be for you as well. But uh, nonetheless, let's carry on with this. So, the, the main purpose of this video really is to, to highlight um, some of the tools us Brits have in our arsenal. Um, I, I kind of already feel like I'm talking about weapons already, but um, just so, so just ignore that, okay? Um, these are tools, okay? Um, it's you know the the laws of which we we have to uh, abide by, kind of govern what we are, what we can and can't carry legally in public, and even if. Uh, they are the laws are on our side um it can be up to you know the the, the police officers or whoever to uh, to actually say hold on a minute that might not be um you know that might be an offensive weapon which is fair enough uh, so my only advice following this video is use some common sense um if you do have an, a knife on you or anything like that don't wave it about and 99.9% uh, .9 of the time nobody will ever know um, if you have one on you nobody will ever search you um, just just go about it in a sensible way okay uh, the, the laws are there it, they do you have to abide by them it does sometimes seem that they punish the law-abiding people more than the people that commit the crimes um, however they are there to keep everybody safe and uh, everybody can get offended so uh, over anything so 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 there you go just just a few words of kind of like advice to start off with and um, what we have here is we have a collection of knives okay don't get me wrong this is about 900 pound okay or, or for you Americans it's about $1,400 and um, yeah so knife collecting isn't really that that of a of a cheap hobby okay but but bear with me i've i'm suffering a little bit i've i've been ill recently but bear with me um uh i'm just going to go through some of the knives and tools that we we are legally you know we we can carry um okay so we'll we'll start with the spider codes in the bottom left okay i've kind of categorized them it's taken me a long time to build up this collection obviously didn't build up an order press uh, go to checkout or anything like that it has taken um you know uh, over a year to build this collection up okay um but i've i've arranged them all i'm going to talk about them all um especially for you guys and girls Okay, so Spydercos. Um, we'll start off here. This is uh, one of your options. It's the Spyderco UK pen knife or UK PK. Uh, excellent choice for an everyday carry knife. Um, has this uh, kind of sabre gra ground um, blade with the uh, CTS BD1 blade steel. Comes very sharp, quite easy to sharpen, and it's super lightweight. Very good option there. Um, they recently, this is 2013 I'm shooting this, they recently came out with this uh, this um, full flat rind version. Okay, again it's a, it shaves off about 4 or 5 grams as you can tell and uh, you, 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 can, uh, you can really tell basically between them. Anyway, I'm not going to move them off screen, they're all going to stay on the screen, okay? and um, so you can look at them and have thoughts after I've talked about them so very similar and um, same price so it's up to you which 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 style you prefer the, the black one it is only black at the moment hopefully they'll come out some, with some other colors if people buy a lot of black ones hint okay um this is a Spyderco uh, Pingo uh, very unusual um, blade shape it's kind of a, a col collaboration with uh, uh, two Danish knife designers, Fox and Anzo. It's obviously their surnames, and uh, it's got very nice steel N690C O steel. 
<clears throat> that's a that's a good kind of sheeple friendly. Um, sheeple being obviously scared people, um, or or easily scared people, um, of knives. Uh, then we have a Spyderco Squeak. Again, quite sheeple friendly. Um, same steel as the Pingo. Um, it's just cute. I mean, you know, you you um, deploy this nice and slowly in an environment, and um, you you can open up your parcels or or letters, no problem. There you go. So they're the Spyderco range. Uh, I think those two are like £43 each, something like that. That one's about the same, and I think that one's a bit bit more. Maybe those two are about 50 I'm not, not too sure anymore about them, but they're very excellent choices. Okay, um, we'll talk a little bit about Borka. So you've got some Spydercos there. You've got three Borkas here. Whoops. See, my illness, you see. Um, this Borka is a Borka Subcom 42. It's uh, it looks smaller than it is than I'm holding it. Um, it's a uh, titanium handle scales with 440C, which is high-end stainless steel um, blade. It's uh, it's nice, nice and light. It's titanium, so you've got the kind of like nerd factor, I suppose. Um, then you've got this one. This is a Borka Plus Trans 42. Um, bit of an update. I've only had it. A few weeks and the speckles of rust there, speckles of rust there, speckles of rust there and I don't keep this in my fish tank or anything and um, I keep it in a drawer with some silica gel nearby and yeah uh, it really likes the water okay and not in a good way so if, if you do get one of these osate steel is uh, obviously more prone to to um, rust and corrosion really than uh, 8CR um, even though you can get a nicer nicer edge to it this is my opinion of course um, so just just be careful on the the rust factor for for that knife and this is the Borka Plus uh, XS you really need to boost up on your your spinach eating to open this one because it's it's a very stiff backlock and it's quite heavy um, for a a legal opening knife okay again 440 steel like I say you gotta bear with me I just had quite a bad illness and um, hence the swallowing things um, so that, that's the spider codes that's the bookers um, we talk about uh, kinda like a, a cheaper option up here and um, so say you don't want to sink 40 odd pound for, for a knife that you know you, you may use a few times a month if that um, you know, you you want to pick a nut. You want to spend, I don't know, ten to twenty pound on a knife or something like that. Um, the these ones up here are, are a good choice. Here you've got a bird knife. It's basically Spyderco, but just the the re really really value kind of cheap cheapo range. Um, but I was very impressed with this bird. Uh, this is a bird turn, I believe, and it's basically just like the the Spyderco UK PK, but um, with G10. And uh, and uh, a little bit worse of steel, still okay steel, but just a little bit worse. And it's smaller, and um, it's comfortable. They they haven't um, cheaped out on the the jimping on the choil and the thumb ramp. I mean, it's functional. One of these is about twenty five pounds. That's that's a good option. Um, then you've got you've got these. You've got the slip it set at the top. Check out my full review. I mean. Um, they're, for the price, they're pretty decent. Um, they've all got. Uh, you can put one of these on your keychain, I suppose. They're all legal. Um, you've got this 8CR13 MOV for the grasshopper, and then the other two, I think they have, um, you know, slightly less uh, blade steel. Um, but this is a kiwi. I just thought I'd bring this one out because it's quite a, quite an interesting looking knife, interesting shape, and uh, I think people will be interested rather than scared by one of these. Okay, so that's that one, and there, and and basically twenty five pound twenty, about fifteen, and and they go go lower. Um, I carry one of these Spyderco bugs on my key ring. Um, yeah, it's scratched. The handles are scratched, but that, that's what's going to happen. But it's there when I need it. Um, if I don't have a, a full size knife or what have you, this is another option. And um, this is a Sog, a Sog Micron 
with a tanto blade shape. I mean, in my opinion, it it's not very sharp at all. It was £15, which is a lot of money really, um, considering you can get something like this for £15. Uh, this isn't a comparison video, but this is just what you can get with your money from one company as opposed to another. But I'll let you make the make the decision on that. Okay. Um, it doesn't say what blade steel it is on here, but they're both made in China. But there we go. Um, I thought I'd include that in the video because it's still still legal. Okay. Um, you might just take another view and and want to carry, you know, a limited edition knife. This is a a Burka, uh Henny Haynes uh, collaboration special here. Um, it's got very decent blade steel. Very decent, um, bit of a fingerprint magnet, but uh, it's uh, it's very nice, titanium and red micarta. But there we go. That's uh, you might want to take a, a limited edition. Bear in mind, police won't give too you know about uh, about whether it's limited edition or not. If if they think it's offensive, it, it's. Uh, press that red button and it will uh, go in the incinerator so just just a word of warning about that as well I've I've known a few stories of people that have had um, UK PKs uh, with G10 and S30V they can set you back about 120 140 pounds and they've gone in an incinerator so just a little bit bit more advice really and um, you might want to go in a completely different direction of knives and uh, look at what Victorinox have to offer. I mean Victorinox makes some very good pen knives. Uh, I carry a, a Swiss card on me um, just because it's got plenty of tools, a pen, a pin, it's got some very very good scissors really and uh, it's got yeah it does have a knife on it as well um, but I think because it's part of the tool um, that wouldn't really count as a Vix blade because it's not it's not separate and it has its own sheath if you see what I mean but uh, Either way, um, that's uh, I carry one of those, so I think that's that's quite useful. You might just uh, decide on a on a pen knife. I will be doing a complete, I say complete, uh, a, a huge overview of not of uh, Victorinox pen knives and show you the, the pros and cons of each one, and uh, and just really, you know, help you decide which ones for you. I mean, if you don't want to collect all of them, or if you don't want want a few, um, I'll kind of point you in the right direction of the of the best ones okay um but this one uh, i forget which this one's called it's it's i think it's an explorer it's it's because i got this when when i was a little kid really and uh and this this one you you might go full size you might just pick um one of the one of the most kind of modern uh popular ones like this uh, victorinox huntsman it's got the scissors it's got the knife it's got the the saw I mean, it's, uh, it's it's got everything really for for not a huge amount of size. So you might just not not think about a particular knife. You might just decide, okay, well, I'd rather just get a pen knife because a pen knife is about twenty pounds, and uh, and I'd rather pay twenty pounds on a pen knife that has a knife on it, a blade on it, with with scissors and things, rather than forking out forty pounds on on just a knife. But it's up to you. You see, I'm I'm trying to give you options here. So, you've you've got these uh, Victorinox pen knives here. I, I I put this one in because it's a it's a Victorinox Farmer, and I would um, recommend this over the the Soldier because the Soldier is is now very rare. They stopped making them in 2008. Um, however, this Farmer is basically the same thing, but you get a nice saw on it and a, a, a slip ring. For your keychain or something. Anyway, you might think, oh well, I don't want all those tools. I uh, I just want a Victorinox pen knife with a blade. And yeah, they do one. I think one of these costs you about ten pounds. That's UK legal. It's uh, under under the uh, three inches and uh, it's non-locking. Okay, so pen knife, knife. There we go. Simple as that. Okay, um, you might just want a small thing small pen knife on your keychain this is this is a, a classic SD I think something like that and it does have your your tweezers and your your toothpick anyway I'm gonna speed it up a bit and um, 
so moving on from the pen knives, we've got the tools. You might think, oh, well, I might as well go, you know, my philosophy of use, I, you know, where am I going to be using this? Um, do I need to take it to work or, or whatnot? And weight issues, I mean, there's so many options out there. It must be very difficult for ch to choose, hence why I've probably built up this collection myself. But uh, this has got uh, pliers on it and uh, a, a collection of various other tools, uh, including obviously a, a chisel ground uh, blade okay so even this has got a knife but that that's just a little little tool that's you know legal and um, you might beef it up a bit and um, opt for one of these again uh, that's got a knife on it and it's got a bit bit more heftier pliers so you might go down the tool rule tool route okay and uh, just carry around one of them every day then you might go into kind of like the, the collector's area and you might look at um, these knives, these kind of Texas toothpick style knives. Um, here is, is quite a surprise. Um, this is a Buck um, Solo, I believe, and it's quite a decent knife. It's kind of classed as a pocket floater because it's not very really tactical looking. It doesn't have a pocket clip. just sits in your pocket and rattles around with other things. Um, they're not that expensive. But uh, this this is an option as well, quite light, quite useful. Um, they just look like a gentleman's folder, really. But then you can you can go for the biggest you you possibly can that's that's legal, um, like this one, okay, which is like a just a normal toothpick, uh, Columbia Columbia River knife and tool. Or you could go for a proper collector's one, a case knife, and one of these will set you back about £53, which, yeah, it's a lot lot of money. Um, but the, the steel is very nice, and it's you can just you can just tell it's it's well made. Okay, but there we go. There's, there's just some options. Uh, I hope this video has been um, you know, inspirational, I suppose. I mean, I am going to do a, like I say, I am going to do a separate video on on my many Victorinox pen knives just to give you you know if you're looking for Victorinox knives just point you in the right direction really um, but that kinda sums it up uh, for us Brits you 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 know the the laws are there and you might think yeah, they're penalizing us but there's still plenty of choices okay if you want to carry a knife legally for your job or whatnot there's still plenty of choices out there and there's still some very good knives um, we we can still import them. We can still uh, buy them, including all the fixed knives and the locking knives. Um, you know, you you can you can still get yourself a you know a, a Spyderco military. You you know you you can still get yourself a a um, an absolutely ridiculous um, Bowie. But uh, you know, so it's it's not as bad as other countries where you just can't get hold of them at all so it's just the law law side of things really um but there we go it's a quick overview i say quick um of all the different options you've got at your your disposal really and what what you'd like to carry um please do um put comments and things down below about what you carry um which, which ones you like out of all these and um, definitely you know it's youtube share your experiences it's it's about you okay um so by all means i definitely welcome that put put in the comments below what you carry why you carry it and uh you know obviously if you're american don't put our carrier you know a, a seven inch uh folding knife because because that's just ridiculous and um, i'm t i'm primarily focusing it on on the um us brits okay because this is this is for you guys really um all the the kind of legal folding knives all right so anyway i uh, hope you have enjoyed it it's taken me a long time to collect all these and uh you know bring them to you but it's a video i have been very excited to make and uh, wanted to do for a long time anyway hope you enjoyed it um like i say do put your comments rate and subscribe thanks for watching take care